I've seen so many women walk out confidently in red lipsticks. And yet there are so many women out there who think red doesn't suit me. I don't agree with that statement itself. Why? Because red is not just one color. Red has many shades to it. And there's definitely one or more shades for all of us, for all skin tones. Today we are not just finding your perfect red lipstick but also how you can create different looks and effects with just one single red color to stand out. For those who've been watching my videos for a long time know that I'm all about concepts. Because once you understand the concept, it's much easier to follow the instructions and it's more fun too. So tip number one, manipulate the contrast. Ooh, that sounds heavy. Not quite. When a woman is younger, her lips are much redder than the rest of her face, creating an image of youth. But as you're aging, your lips get paler, the redness in the lips goes down, and actually the skin around your lips gets more redder. So the redness contrast between your lips and the rest of your face decreases, it changes with time. And that certainly is something that can be manipulated with makeup. So this is a good reason why red lipstick should be your number one go-to lipstick in your makeup kit. If red is new to you, you don't have to go heavy with red. Start with something as simple as this. Just start with a little bit of stain on your lips. I'm using Bobbi Brown's Lux Lip Color in Red Berry number 19. And then I'm going to mix it with the Ordinary's High Spreadability Primer. Just take a little bit of primer with a little red lipstick, mix it between your fingers and dab it on your lips. Why primer instead of lip balm? Because primer actually fills those fine lines and wrinkles in your lips, holds the color for much longer, and it doesn't create that unnecessary glossy look that you may not want with a red lipstick. I personally enjoy more matte effect. I love red labios more than the next chica, but it's not always easy to find the perfect red for my tan complexion. Some look harsh against my yellow undertones. Now, how do I know if I have yellow undertones? Yellow undertone? What is it? How do I find mine? Very simple. Look at your veins. If they are more greenish, then you're more likely to have yellow undertones. And if they are bluish or purplish, then you're likely to be cool. Cool. Okay, isn't there a simpler way to understand this? If you have fair complexion, look for a red lipstick that has hints of blue in it. And if you have tan complexion, then use red lipstick with hints of yellow in it. If you enjoyed the lip stain, then let's move on to a little more defined look. Define your lips with a lip liner. All I'm going to do is use the Sangria Red Lip Liner from Bobbi Brown. Now remember, because you have the primer on your lips, this is going to blend really easily. All you need to do is just blend it inwards. Just bring it down and mix it with the red lipstick. So there are no harsh lines and yet the lipstick looks more defined. So this is a step up from the previous look. Still very subtle. This is fun. According to New York Post survey, 91% of people thought that it's completely appropriate to wear red lipstick anytime, anywhere. And they also thought that red makes women more confident. So red lipsticks are not just for cocktail parties anymore. With long lasting, rich, highly pigmented formulas, these colors stay locked in place all day long. So now I can wear my red lipstick for shopping, for girls night out, for just casual outing in t-shirts, or even at pool parties. And date nights too. That too. Now let's show you yet another look you can create with the same red lipstick. So you could use a lip liner to overline your natural lip line. This is usually done if you want to make your lips look bigger. But the lip liner is also used to even out the shape of your lip and this is what I use it for. Now my left upper lip is a little thinner than the right one so I try to balance it out and make my lips more symmetrical. Remember not to keep it a very sharp line, blend it inwards. Amongst all the reds I own, this Bobbi Brown red lipstick is my favorite because it's lightweight and silky 
It does not leave any trace of tackiness and it doesn't become patchy. Now let's go ahead and show you yet another look you can create with the same red lips. Now gloss applied all over your lips is a disaster to begin with. But imagine a few hours later when it starts bleeding through the fine lines of your lips. It can look really, really trashy. So in my opinion, if you have thin lips and you overline your lips to create that fuller lip effect, go for a matte color because when you use something glossy all over, you completely beat the purpose of overlining your lips. How? I'm going to use a lip gloss. Do you see that shine, that gloss that's highlighting the natural lip line? Now this is completely beating the purpose of overlining your lips. And you can actually see where my natural lip line is and where I have overdrawn. So this looks completely fake and, and grabs attention for all wrong reasons. So if you must wear a gloss, I recommend using something like this Bobbi Brown's Crystal Lip Gloss. So take just a little bit of it on a brush and just apply it right in the middle of your lower lip. That's it. Because when the light hits you, you just want this part to shine and reflect the light back. You are not a shiny disco ball. You don't want every part of your glossy, shiny, glamorous red lips to bounce light back into everyone's face and blind them. I'm exaggerating. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. That's what will happen. <laughs> if you haven't tried a red lipstick yet or are not happy with the color that you have, then maybe it's time for you to buy one and try one because red is one color that universally looks good on every skin color be it holiday season valentine's day or your everyday office wear find your perfect red with the makeup world continuously booming every day red still continues to be that one color that challenges and excites men and women equally do look up my pictures from today's video on Instagram and if you are posting any of your red lipstick selfies, don't forget to tag me. I'd love to see them. I have two accounts, blush with me underscore Parmita and the second one is Parmita Katkar underscore photo factory. Don't just fall for every makeup trend. Understand how you can use it to bring out the best in you. And that's why I'm here to guide you, to, to empower you, to find your own beauty. If you like watching my videos, then do subscribe to Blush With Me with Parmita. If you hit that subscribe button, you'll see a little bell next to it. Click that too. That way you get an alert every time I post a new video. And I'm pretty regular. You will see me every Thursday. If you like this video, then you will like some other makeup videos that I have mentioned in the description box below. Do watch them and don't leave without sharing this video with at least one friend or more. Hit the like button like you always do. Can't wait to see your comments. So when you're headed down to comments box to express how you felt about my today's video, I also want you to answer this one question for me. Which out of these two looks is more important in photographs? A perfect natural makeup or contouring for every face shape? And I promise to spill all my secrets about the winning answer in my forthcoming videos. It's time for me to go now, but I will see you next week. Until then, blush with me. And being that hugging emoji